Alright, hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I am going to be showing you how to use my Megalovania template I have created a while ago. Now, um, if you want to know how to use it, then you know you you can watch that. This uh, this one is more gonna be about how to get it into LMMS because a bunch of people in the comments were having troubles with that. So I'm gonna go over the entire process here. So we'll click the link in the description first um, to go to this, which is the Megalo template uh, LMMS project. You can go ahead and download that. Um, so <clears throat> then you'll need to load it up in LMMS and you'll need to download LMMS to do this. And I highly, highly encourage you to get at least some experience with LMMS, not only to make your Megalovanias bigger, but also to potentially help aid you in, you know, making music in general in the future. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you try and get some outside experience of LMMS. So I put a link to the download description of LMMS. I'm sorry, the download of LMMS in the description as well as a tutorial that I like to LMS that can essentially take you through. Okay, I'm rambling on, so now the time has come for me to show all you what this is going on. So assuming you have this all loaded up correctly, it should sound like this. So, it's not perfect, obviously, but it's the best I could do. I did not make all the uh, I did not make all the midis and the um, sound fonts. I did not make any of that. I simply compiled it into this template previous. Then you have this part. You got this part. This part, and it's obviously it's not perfect. Um, you could add some other guitars here, which uh, you know wouldn't stay as true to the original Megalovania, but you know you can do that, and that's why I just have this. Uh, template here, <clears throat> and I'm rambling on. I'm rambling on now. See, I've already been recording for two minutes, and I haven't actually gotten to the point. So, time to actually get to the point. So, you're gonna go ahead and go to File, then click Open here. Go to Downloads. Click on Downloads. Scroll down, and you should see Megalo Template V2. If that, if you don't see that, then chances are you either downloaded it under another file name or under another file location. If it's not in Downloads, then it might be somewhere else. It could be really anywhere I you know your computer better than I do so just wherever your downloads would go it will likely be in there and if it's not then chances are you've got some other problem going on pretty content in the descriptions at comment in the comments so I can help you from there so if it says something like could not load sound font then you might have a multitude of problems for one you might not have the latest version of LMMS and if that is the case you'll have to download it from the website uh, other possible problems are you don't have your SF2 file directory set up correctly. So you will also have to download the sound font file that I have put in the description. And what is a sound font? Well, it's complicated, but for the, essentially it's a bunch of instruments put into one file. So as you can see here, we have this string lead. Here we have this picked bass. You know, here we have the square lead. Um, so we have all the leads and basses here in one file and that's what those are good for and if you don't have your directory set up correctly then you won't be able to load it so go ahead and go to file and then nope I'm sorry edit <laughs> and then settings so go ahead and go into this little file icon here so not this not this not this yes none of that this right here folder icon if you can't figure that out you need some serious help so uh, you can ignore all this other stuff for now Right now what you want is this SF2 directory right here. So you can go ahead and click on this icon and then you can go ahead and take it to wherever you might have downloaded your, <clears throat> your sound font. So for example, I might have the, like down here, I might have it in downloads, uh, which is usually where I have mine. So I usually have it in there. So that right now I have it set to sound fonts. Um, and that's not always the problem. And so, you know, that's one solution. If that solution works, great for you. Um, however, if that solution does not work, bad for you. However, I still have more solutions up my sleeve. Uh, yeah, let me make sure we're still recording. Okay, we're still recording. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Um, so if that's still not working, go on to the... So click on this little instrument thing here. I'm trusting you know how to do this and that you've followed my advice and 
watched some other tutorials about LMMS. If so, I don't judge. Just go ahead and click on that, and then on the little instrument track on the left, and then click on this little folder file. Folder file? <laughs> I failed. So now you can go to wherever you might have downloaded it, such as desktop, downloads, music, wherever it might be. For me, it's in downloads. So I'm going to scroll down, and I see undertale.sf2. This is what you... I am an idiot. I apologize. That is not what you want. Ignore that. That, I, that is a different thing I have. What you do want is a meg, the Megalovania sound font. That will be in this little folder here called the Megalovania sound font. And if it's not already in that folder, then it will just be in your downloads or wherever else it might be. So go ahead and click on that. And then in there should be the Megalovania sound font dot sf2 file. Open that up. And then... So then you can do this. And so those are essentially the only problems I could really imagine anyone having. So um, if you have a different problem, please leave a comment in the comment section, and I will try and help you the best I can. I do not guarantee I can perfectly help you as I am not exactly tech support i can you know well, i am exactly tech support i can tell you to turn on and off your computer <laughs> um but at the you know that's really just about all you can do is you can you know you can do this and if you have any other problems again put that in the comments and i will attempt to help you the best i can now this is only supposed to be like a temporary thing once you get good at making music like me <laughs> i'm not that good at making music but once you get better at making music um then you can eventually start totally starting from scratch and that's when you get really good megalovanias such as geese poopovania it's not great but myself um i'll put a link to, in the description to that i did not use this template i started from scratch and it turned out pretty well i just used this sound font so again i'm rambling on here this is the main point of this if you want to know how to use this um aside from L um, lms and other tutorials then i'll I'll put a link, like actually messing with the melodies, then I'll put a link to my old tutorial in the description where you can watch that. So if I missed anything, please tell me in the comments and I will either make a new video or more likely just, you know, reply to you. Um, so there you go. Use all the links in the description to download the things I have said. So yeah, uh, to, summar to summarize, download file, go to wherever you've had that, open it up. If it doesn't work, open click on one of these, click on that folder file, go to downloads or wherever it might be, find the Megalovania sound font file. If that doesn't work, click on this up here, no, not that up there. Go to edit, settings, click on this, choose your SF2 directory where your sound font file is. So that's just your, essentially, summary about everything that's going on. So yes, uh, any questions in the comments? And there you go. Enjoy life and make some epic Megalovanias.